This is the Progressive Tower Fry Cutter. In this de demo video, we're gonna show you what you get in the box, as well as demo how to use it safely. So you'll get the pusher lid, you get the blades, and a base container. The base container has a non-skid, so it keeps things secure on the counter. The pusher on the inside comes out for cleaning, and it also comes with this white cleaning grid on the inside to help keep your uh, pusher teeth clean. So I'm gonna demo first uh, how to do a potato. Uh, typically what you would wanna do is, is find a potato that is not taller than the container. Because uh, what will happen if it's, it is taller than the container, it'll bottom out and not allow the potato to go all the way through. So I'll show you on a smaller one first. You just jab it into the grid Place both hands on top and swiftly push down. You have perfectly cut fries every time. Next, we're gonna show you uh, the, the size of the potato you should be putting, putting through this. And a good way to uh, show the size gauge is this open window here is roughly four inches. As you can see from this potato, that it fits within that and it's just below that, that opening. So this potato should be fine to put through it all at once. But if we take a larger potato, you're going to see that the window is definitely below the, uh, the size of the potato. So in this case, we would want to cut it in half. And we'll, we'll cut that potato in half and show you how to properly put it through. So first you're going to want to grab the container, jab on, and swiftly push down. Next, we're gonna show you uh, a potato that's too large for the window. And I'm gonna put it through the container just to show you what happens if a potato is too large and if it gets stuck, what to do to get the potato out of the grid. So first, I would jab the potato in there. As you can see, my lid is above the container, so it's gonna be, that's gonna be your first indication that it's too large. But if you do end up putting a potato this large through it and get it stuck, and I can't get it any further through. See, it's halfway into the grid, halfway out. So the tip to get it out is to lay the, lay the uh, chopper on the side and slice off the uncut potato. Put it back up so you can see that I've sliced most of it off. And just take a like, quick push and it'll release any uh, potato that's stuck. Another potential way to misuse this product is if you don't put the potato straight up and down in the grid. This is the ideal position. But you may encounter when you do this, and you can see that it's at an angle, that, that it'll get stuck and could potentially uh, ruin the blades. Notice how the potato is hitting the outer frame. That's because it's at an angle and it's pushing outward. So if you notice this happen, don't try to force it through, but do the trick of cutting off the excess potato and then pu pushing the rest through. You can also put multiple potatoes through, such as sizes like this that are fairly small. Um, what you would do is just place it on like normal, hit it through, take another potato, Slam it through, and you notice the container is getting kind of full, but I'm going to try one more, and it looks like we got them all through. And the last thing we're going to show you is how to clean it. Uh, every once in a while, the, the teeth on the inside get a lot of food stuck in it, especially if you're doing things softer that are not potatoes. You could be doing onions, and that those types of food get caught in there. We've provided you with this cleaning grid, and all you have to do is peel it off and it cleans the teeth. All you have to do is rinse it off in the um, sink. So we do not recommend you using yams or sweet potatoes and they, they look similar to this uh, because they're very hard and fibrous and the potential of ruining the blades or bending them is very high. So please do not use yams or sweet potatoes.